Hey, good morning. How's everybody doing today? Today is Tuesday, the 4th of January, 2022. God bless each and every one of you today. I just want to say God loves you. He cares for you. He's for you. God has given us everything he's ever going to give us through his son, Jesus. There's nothing more God could do for us. When Jesus died on the cross in Calvary, and he said it is finished, meaning that he had finished all the work that's necessary for us to come into the presence of the Holy Father, for us to be able to just claim his glory, his honor, the walk and authority of Christ. That we are more in conquerors in Christ Jesus, that we've been given victory in all things because God is a God of victory. He's overcome all things in the cross when he died and resurrected from the dead. And when he died and resurrected from the dead and we receive him, we resurrect with him. For the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead lives and abides in each and every one of us. I put a great scripture to confirm all this. It's Ephesians 1.3. It says here that, Praise be to God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. With every spiritual blessing in Christ, God can't do a single thing more for us. He did it all. Now we just come to him. We come with him with the spirit. We come with him with the word. We walk this earth as ambassadors of Christ. We are here as the representation of Jesus Christ. The same spirit that you abide and lived in Jesus, abides and lives in us, the Holy Spirit of God. Know that we are powerful, mighty of things of the Lord, that we are great and wonderful. Not because we are personally great and wonderful, because Jesus Christ is great and wonderful. Anywho, just know that we are alive and living because God is good and mighty and powerful. That we are indeed ambassadors of Christ. We are indeed those who walk by the Spirit of the Lord. That same Spirit that, that rose Jesus from the dead, again, lives and abides in us. There's not a single thing more God could do for us because Jesus paid it all. He did it all for us. So let's just claim our inheritance. Claim our inheritance this day in Jesus' name for all that he's done for us. Father, again, I thank you, God, for Ephesians 1, 3. Father, indeed, Father, we have been blessed, Father, in every spiritual blessings, in, and with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly realm in Christ Jesus, Father. There's not a single thing more you could do for us, my Lord, because, Father, Jesus did it all. He paid for it in the cross of Calvary. When he said it is finished, he paid it dead, Father. Now we have the access to go into your throne room, to come into your into your presence, my Lord. We're able to pray and trust and believe. We're able to walk in the power and might of the Spirit of the Lord. We're able to claim the, the words of, 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 of what you've given us in, your, in, in the Holy Book, Father, and the Word of God. That, Father, that you are alive and living, Father, and I'm grateful, Father. And I just pray this morning that each and every one of us, Father, will have a more and better and deeper revelation of who you are, my Lord, and our, and our victory in you, my Lord. That, indeed, we are mighty and powerful in the things of the Lord. Because, Father, Jesus Christ paid the price for us. Indeed, Father, we are ambassadors of Christ. Live in this world, Father, as Jesus walked this earth, we shall walk it also. As Jesus said, these things you shall do in greater things. My Lord, don't let us live in ourselves, my Lord. Only let us live in ourselves by what you want to do through us, my Lord. Father, I pray for each and every one of us today, Father. We walk in the might and power of the Spirit of the Lord today. Be powerful in the things of the Lord, Father. I'm grateful for this, my Lord, in the mighty name of your Son, Jesus. Amen. Again, Ephesians 1, 3, it says here that, Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus. God the Father can't do anything else for us. He already did it all when he sent his son Jesus, when Jesus paid the price for our sins, paid the price for our sickness, diseases, paid the price for our poverty. He paid the price for everything, that we may walk in powerful might of the Spirit of the Lord on this earth as he did, as he laid his hand on the sick, as he... As he cursed out, cursed demons and cursed sickness and diseases, and they had, and and they people were healed and, and and demons fled because of the might and power of who Jesus was, is, and always will be. And we are His ambassadors. Remember that we walk this earth as He walked this earth. Satan has to submit to the power and authority of Jesus Christ, and that we are His authority and power living through us. That Jesus Christ indeed is our Lord and Savior. Indeed, we are His children. Indeed, we are His ambassadors. Indeed, we do have the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead, living and abiding in each and every one of us. Those of us who receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Walk in the authority of Christ and know that God's alive and living and well. And that this world, even though it's got its issues and, and it has its problems, we are more in conquerors, as it says in Romans, in Christ Jesus. Be blessed today. We know that we are alive and living because Jesus Christ has given us life, his life, the Zoe life of God, that life eternal. Be blessed. Walk in the love of God, the Lakapi love, the love that has no conditions. Walk in the Spirit of the Lord today. Be powerful, mighty in the things of God. I have cold confidence that God will can and will use you. Why? Because Jesus desires to use you. He desires to come in through you and just perform his great work through you. Be bold, be strong. Know God is for you. Be blessed. Take care. Have a great day today. Again, the 4th of January, 2022. It's Tuesday. Be blessed. Know God's alive and living. 
Have a great day. You take care. And one last thing, the guy on the camera, he prays for you. You be blessed.